All right, so in this video, I will be trying the Cheetos Flamin' Hot Mac and Cheese. All right, so stay tuned for that. But what the hell going on my hair, dog? Oh, it's a light. Look. I don't look like it's gray, man. I can't get old dog. I ain't getting old dog. <laughs> anyway, the video coming up now. Stay tuned. You know. And you'll be like, ooh. I'll be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so let's ooh, get into this. You know. Give it all you can. <laughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? Snoopy East Forward back again with another mukbang. Check it out. We doing the Cheetos Mac and Cheese for the first time on my channel. All right. Cheetos Mac and Cheese. I've never tried it. I didn't even try it while I was cooking it. So we're about to get right into it. I got some movie recommendations for the cozy seasons that's coming up. I can't wait for, I don't know. What do you guys call it? You, got, you guys call it fall. You call them autumn. You call them a mix of the two. I just say both. Anyway, so here it is right here, the flaming Hot Mac and Cheese. Got a little bit of broccoli so I can get some veggies in. And then I have a hot link right here, which is actually uh, jalapeno cheddar, the ones from Walmart, and they're banging. It's my favorite one. Some nacho cheese right here. And uh, yeah, and if it's your first time here and you like what you see, then come join the family. Ooh, I'm always lyrical. All right, for sure. Look, I know, I know. All right, because you showed up, we got to pull it up. Coke, y'all, on oh, ice. You know what I'm saying? Woo, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. All right, cheers. Oh, yeah. You know you have somebody, yeah, somebody, you have people that um, only like Coke and then people that only like Pepsi. I like them both. I like both of them. All right. So from how this looked when I was cooking it to how it smelt when I opened the package, it smelt hot and spicy, but we'll try it out right now. All right. All right. And before we do that, let's get a classic thumbnail real quick because I love Flaming Hots. So here we go. Mmm. It actually tastes good. I didn't know if it was going to taste good or not. Yep. I can taste the flaming hot behind there. Not too spicy. But it does have a little kick. The flavor is good. Mmm. I like this. Mmm. Not bad. Cheetos, you done did it again. Little sausage, uh huh? Mmm, that's good with the cheese. Oh, I'm gonna be dunking my wiener in this all the time. Mmm. Oh, this is a perfect combination. These three right here. Well, let's try that. Broccoli and cheese. This little dump. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> I was about to drink that. Yeah, this it's not as I mean it looks crazy, but it's not it's not hot it's not too hot for me, but it does have a little kick to it, just a little bit. But it tastes good. Mm. I'm so glad the heat wave is lifted, the, um, the Humidex. So all this week's going to be a lot milder. Thank goodness for that. That one box made all this. And surprising is not it's not leaving no like red stains nowhere. There's no red stains at all. Just regular just the sauce. And it's all up on the noodle. Flip this. Yep, I'm definitely gonna flip this. I already have three ideas just popped in my head for right now. One's gonna be a challenge too. Take a couple more bites and then <clears throat> let's get into the movie talk because that's one of my favorite subjects of all time. All right, real quick before we get into the movie talk. Uh, first of all, shout out to everybody in my comment section, man. <clears throat> my comment section down below. I appreciate it, man. You guys leave me some good inspiration and some... Some of y'all be leaving me some funny stuff, too. I um, also want to give a shout out to the several that come through and, and uh, check me out when I'm video gaming over there on Snooperfly 4-Way Gaming. I'll probably link it right here somewhere. 
Um, but yeah, it's just basically S N O O P A F L Y four zero eight no space just snoop fly four eight then space capital G for gaming. All right, snoop fly four eight gaming. Excuse me. Um, and we just we plowed through. Excuse me, we plowed through <coughs> Uncharted four, and we just plowed through and finished um, the Lost Legacy. So now it's coming with a game to play next that you guys are gonna enjoy. So that's the thing. So, so I, I think I'm gonna do it. Uh, put a poll in the. Uh... So yeah. So <clears throat> it's either gonna be, <coughs> excuse me, it's gonna be like Red Dead Redemption or Spider Man because I have that. I bought it. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know. I have no idea. You guys help me out in the comments. Let me know. What you think that I should play. I know that, um, shout out to the homegirl, Heli, HGX. She's playing, she was playing Predator Hunting Grounds. And then there's uh, Aliens one out now, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't know. But I'd rather play those games with friends online. Instead of just by myself, right? So, I don't know. You guys let me know. I need more of my foodies. My mukbangers and all my supporters to please go over to that channel and show me some love. Even if you don't really care for the games, I've, I've said it before, just come through and show me some love. I'm truly trying to grow, grow that channel if I can get it. Not just monetize, but <clears throat> at 501k, I want to do a video game giveaway. So let's grow that channel too, please. Hey, we'll be having fun over there, man. It's all laughs over there. Actually, really enjoy this uh, flaming Hot Mac and Cheese. Flaming Hot Mac and Cheese. Super good. So, of course, and I know most of you guys out there, especially that are like 35 and up, know about these movies and watch them anyway. <clears throat> Me, I, I don't need a certain time of the year to watch them, but um, of course, you want to start off, well, not necessarily start off like, in, it, this is not in any specific order, but I'm just going to show a couple of my favorites, of course. We got the Friday the 13th. This one right here. Which one is this? Oh, because I have the new, the, the one of the newer ones where it actually, yeah, it's in the DVD player. Oh, okay. So this is part seven. So this is the one with the psychic girl, the psychic chick right here that had the little abilities to move things with her mind. And then the, her doctor or her psychiatrist is trying to um, use her to test out her powers or whatever. And. Man, he ends up getting it dirty in the woods, but not in a good way. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but that was a that used to be my favorite one. So, you know, she she gets all emotional and worked up, goes out on the boat because she ends up she kills her dad by accident, right? And um, so then she goes out in the boat and tries to use her ability to bring her dad back. <clears throat> ends up waking up Jason and bringing him back, right? So now they they have this fight. The 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 best scene in there. First of all, uh, I think that was Kane Hodges. Shout out to Kane Hodges who who actually um, was the man behind the mask and the suit that played Jason. Um, that dude, his size and his whole posture and how he moves is just the perfect Jason in my opinion. 
And I think it was Kane that came in um, Jason Takes Manhattan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, overall, he's my favorite uh, character to play, Jason. Um, and my favorite scene, <coughs> excuse me, my favorite main scene in that <coughs> movie is when the psychic girl um, she's at the top of the stairs and he's climbing up toward her right to go get her but he's kind of he's kind of um hold on this 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 music name tripping sometimes okay um so yeah, so he's he's kind of cautious when he's dealing with her because at first he tried to get at her like to, to get her, but when she was tearing his ass up out there in, in the forest, when she was like <clears throat> and all that crazy shit, and she made the wire <laughs> come off the electric pole and crawl like a snake, and he was in a puddle of water and just and electrocuted the hell out of him, but she had wrapped another one around his neck, right, all with her telekinesis. That was pretty dope. That was a dope scene because that when she was in that car or the people that were in the car that got killed by him, that, that was pretty freaky right there. Because the last thing you want to do is be out in Camp Crystal Lake, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and then, whoo, yeah, all of a sudden your car breaks down, right? And your car breaks down, and then he's about 30, 40 feet in front of you, and he pops up out of nowhere. And you're like, hey, who is that? Hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, man. Hey, man, you got a problem? Hey, honey, honey, get out. Make it back there. Wait, hold on, baby. Hold on. I'm going to go over there and show this guy. Give this guy peace of my mind. Hell no. You stupid as hell. I'm you crazy as hell, fool. <laughs> you see a big ass dude at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning standing in front of your car with a damn hockey mask on. Whether you know about him or not, I'm, I'm not going nowhere close to you, dude. But you know, with Jason, it don't even matter because you could go ahead and run full speed through the, through the bushes. And he'll just pop up from behind a tree and kill you, or you'll trip and fall, and then turn around, look for a while, and then look up, and then he's standing above you and he kill you. So either way, he's killing you. And he's funny because him and Michael Myers, they do this, they have like a sick, twisted, comical sense when they kill you. They like to fold you into a little package and put you up in a closet. So that's, <laughs> you're running around looking for a place to hide, you open the closet, and dude's like, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> body parts all hanging and shit. That's hilarious, dude. These guys, I find, the humor and the oddest stuff but th to me that shit is funny but i do love um jason and michael myers who's my favorite if i had to choose one i have to go with mike i just 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 by one point right so i give mike a 10 i give jason a nine um but both of them are dope now you know you have freddy versus jason that was classic can you imagine uh, Jason versus Michael, Michael versus Jason, however you want to put it, <clears throat> that'd be crazy because they're kind of more similar in the fact that they're human, possessed, demonic type, super strength, just psychopaths, right? <clears throat> um, so, and then the other scene is, yeah, yeah, well, she's so when he's coming up the stairs and then she looks at the light bulb and he looks too, and he looks at her and he's getting mad, and he's all breathing like this, and then she's like. Her hands down to the side, she's like, <laughs> right? And then the light just goes, bow, hits him in his face, smacks him hella hard. That must have smacked him hella hard because he's about a, Jason's like, what, 250, 260 pounds? About what, 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, that fool was huge. Smacks him, and then he just falls straight back right through the stairs and lands on the ground. But the scary part when I was young watching that was when the boyfriend comes, and then, like, they're trying to, you know kind of kitty corner and crawl down the sides because it's all broken off there so there's no stairs there so i have to go off to the edge and then that fool jumps up and pulls him down that shit pulls her down and then they have that battle down there in the basement anyway <clears throat> that's that one that's part seven i'm not gonna give no spoiler alert warnings because this movie then came out in the what 90s so you haven't seen that i don't know you been but that's classic some people like it some people don't it's one of my favorites I think I th if I had to choose the best Friday the 13th I would say it's it's I think it's uh it's is it four or five <clears throat> it would uh Corey Corey Hamer Corey Feldman I mean, one of them damn Corey's man the one that came out exposing the whole uh industry um 
where he shaves his head bald and makes himself look like Jason. I think I spoke about that on another one. Of course, this is the game right here. This game <clears throat> is fun when you play with friends here and there, but all around, it's not really that great of a game. I know HGX really loves this game. Shout out to her. She plays it on the Fridays. Uh, it's fun to watch. <clears throat> but a lot of people don't like it. I don't hate it, um, but I think that Dead by Daylight is better. But this is pretty cool too. So if you haven't played it already, this uh, PS4 uh, Friday the 13th game, you could be the killer or the survivor. <clears throat> you know, I always got to throw this in the mix. You always got to have your Terminator right here because what's more scary than a highly intelligent, evolved, um, cybernetic machine operated killing terrorizing chunk of cybernetic heavy methy poly alloy <laughs> right <laughs> or liquid metal anything like this that's a machine that has a, a human intelligence that's a cybernetic organism that uh <clears throat> sweats bad breath all that stuff like what reese was saying coming at you is scary as shit super scary because you know why because this is going on and this is what's to come in the future in real life too so just letting you know but watching it though for the thrills terminator is an all-time classic t2 it was good and it wasn't good in my opinion i don't like when they played bad to the bone when he went to get his outfit i can't stand that stupid weird looking kid screaming at the top of his lungs with his funky looking hairstyle and his little frowsy pink lips. I can't stand that kid, dude. Or his orange mullet wearing friend. Dude, like, this is ugh, scorn, dude. My skin crawls when I think of their faces, dude. Irritate my soul. I get really into it. I like my movies legit. Like, you're gonna make a classic movie like this, make sure that you follow up and you. The only other, <clears throat> other two I could say to Terminator that I liked was uh, part four, because part three to me was trash. Part four, Salvation. Which a lot of people don't like either. I think that was pretty cool when they show uh, John Connor and the Resistance really getting it in. And <clears throat> and Kyle Reese. I don't really care for that Kyle Reese. I don't think anybody can... Well, in my in my opinion, nobody can top Kyle Reese yet, at least, than uh, Michael Bain. Shout out to Michael Bain. He was also in Navy SEALs too. The real Reese. So anyway, I recommend Terminator. And of course, follow back to back with Arnold is a Predator. <clears throat> because you have... A humanoid alien that comes to Earth and is going at it with the military, right? So, another good one right here that I would recommend to watch, you know, in your movie rotation if you run out or you just don't feel like watching, you know, all those other movies. Uh, of course, I have all the Halloweens. Um, now, this is my opinion and use and my. I'm just speaking facts though like I think a lot of people could agree with me unless you're just in love with Rob Zombie but I think that he just tore this whole movie up now the mask was pretty okay you know what I'm saying and the height on Michael was, was pretty dope like the size and height but that whole rocker hippie ZZ top looking thing was was just trash dude I did that, that was just garbage straight garbage to me you know and then I don't like how they had the whole goth thing with his mother and stuff like this. These right here, I'd say if you haven't seen them, they're worth checking out. But I wouldn't recommend them because they're definitely not on my favorite. But being a Michael Myers fan, of course, I have to put it in my collection. But I don't recommend these at all. Straight trash. Of course, then you have the originals. Now, these are classic. I just can't stand some of the masks. that I think there was 18 masks, if I'm not mistaken, that they used. And the original mask is a mold from William Shatner from Star Trek, right? You, you guys know who William Shatner is. So they actually took that mold of his face and took off the sideburns and, and stuff and just, um, <clears throat> I guess, put the hair on it or put the hair back and patted it down a bit. And that was the classic uh, Halloween mask there. Now, the only other mask that I like, like a, a lot of people give uh, H2O mask a thumbs down. I think that mask was pretty cool, but I think like the guy was saying that uh, this mask thing that I was watching, 
he said that they put way too much on the eyebrows which i agree with they should have just thinned it out a little bit and then just leave the little lighter colors way way dark you know what I'm saying he looked like he out there like trying to be a trollo and shit way way too way too deep and strong you feel me shout out to my trollos though but that don't look good on mike all right look good on y'all but don't look good on mike myers so um the best mask And this ain't even my opinion, cause the best mask is from the Halloween that just came out. I think it's 2018 or 2019, that one. And the follow-up, the part two that's coming. That mask is the best mask. I love that mask. It's got the little cuts. It's got the burn. It's focusing more on the original. And it's a little squared off a bit, so I, I like it. It's just, it's just really not too, no, not really much expression on it at all. Even though you're getting that energy of a psychopath, but without the crazy facial expression. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not into, like, the conjuring and the possession of Emily Rose. And Don't get me wrong. Like, if my daughter's like, oh, dad, have you seen this yet? I'm like, ah, no. She's like, oh, you want to watch this? Just watch it with me one time. I'm like, okay. Then you'll catch me watching that. Other than that, I won't never watch that. Then of course, you got my boy Freddy. You're all my children now. <laughs> but I didn't like this Freddy at all. If it ain't gonna be Robert England, you better get somebody that's dead on close to him, but not this dude. This dude was weird, man. And even though Robert England ain't really tall at all, he, the way he, his body mannerisms played Freddie was, it was just perfect. This dude was just short, weird. His voice was off, <clears throat> and um, that dude, I know him from somewhere else too. Oh, he was in. Uh, is it called The Watchmen? And he played. He had that sick mask that used to the the, the the mask would move. I think it's called Watchmen. Anyway, oh, what is this? Oh, this is the one I showed you guys last time. This is the Friday the 13th. All the movies right here. And then if you want to play a video game that will have you off the edge of your seat, this one right here, The Last of Us. So this is the the perfect game, perfect perfect game to play anytime, but especially now coming up with the Halloween season or whatever. Because it's got them crazy uh, creatures in there. I don't know if you can see a couple of them here on the back. But this is a terrific game. I highly recommend it. This is actually the part two. I'm not finished. Actually, I'm still playing this. So this will be part and rotation of what I'm playing on my gaming channel. Along with whatever fresh new game I start. And I'm also still playing GTA. I just don't stream it a lot. Unless it's special events like car shows or... Um, you know, all-star lineup like me, BK, Seven Legs, Red Diamond. We go to go do like the Panther Heist and the Kale Perico or or the Diamonds whenever they bring it back. Rockstar, can we can we uh, can we get our diamonds back though? Like, what is it? Once a year now? Like, you should be putting diamonds in the game every three months. The Panther in the game every three months or every two months. You know, and double the money, man. Yeah, cheap as hell. But anyway, Last of Us, bomb ass game right there. And that boils it down for my little nerdy movie chat right here. Of course, I got tons more movies and tons more I could recommend. Those are just my top few that my go-tos that I always watch. Um, even, you know, when it's just no holidays at all, right? So, yeah, that's it. If you have any uh, cool movies that you want to recommend to me, I've probably done seen it. But I'm always, um, I'm always down to... You know, try new things. Only if it's good, though. 
Because I keep it 100 all the time. If I don't, if it sucks, I'm going to tell you straight up. It was, it was garbage. If it's good, I'll shout you out and I will uh, recommend it. Um, there was another movie too, and I had asked about this, I think about two years ago, and I don't remember the name of it. Somebody had left me a comment, and I was like, yeah, that's the movie right there, and I looked it up, but I forgot. So, it's basically, it's like a symbiote slug, you know, like a slug form. And these people are like, it's taking over the human body, kind of like body snatchers. But to pass it on from host to host, they got to hold you down and like and they open your mouth and then they open their mouth and then this thing comes out of the throat and goes into you. Freaking horrible, dude. That thing scared the hell out of me when I watched it. I was like, ugh. But not knowing that that stuff can happen, you know. It was on TikTok the other day. But even before TikTok, I've seen this on um I don't know if it was Discovery or one of those um, scientific broadcasts, um, but it's like a, it's a worm. They go, they go hell along. Like they can, they, they can live in your, I think it's your brain or your intestinal tract. But it came out of something from the sea. Like I don't know, like this weird looking snail thing, and this thing just bored a hole through it and came up out of it, and was just like going all over the place. And I seen them pull it out of, um, I think it was a deer. Pulled a long one out of, oh no, it was an insect. I think it was a grasshopper. One of these things took over a grasshopper's body. Oh, the grasshopper was just like, it wasn't, it wasn't even itself no more. It was like a zombie grasshopper. <clears throat> and then like this dude, he just took the, he started pulling this thing out, pulling it out, pulling it out. I mean, this thing must've been probably like this long or longer inside that little grasshopper, man, the locust. And uh, the grasshopper was dead, but it was just controlling it. It was, yo, crazy dude so there's a lot of stuff that they put in these movies that are legit but then of course you know they uh add a little whoop de whoop here and there so that you can keep you entertained but i'm telling you man uh, it's crazy i'm not gonna get into that topic right now but i think you guys know what i'm talking about oh, man that coke is hitting all right y'all this was good that i highly recommend the let me see get the english side oh it's french and english all over because i'm in canada the cheetos flaming hot mac and cheese <clears throat> was straight banging you know i loved it i recommend it it's a nice little side dish to have i think a cool challenge you know what i'm not even gonna say it i'm not even gonna say it i'm just gonna wait actually you know what i will say it i'll, I'll say it here and maybe i might be the first to say this <clears throat> one whole box of that with and soak it with two times spicy uh bulldog sauce from sam yang i said it right this time because i know some people be like it's bulldog sauce that's sam yang sauce I'm like whatever dude you know what i'm talking about so just want you just go back into your hole stick your finger up your bum so two times spicy soaked and then top it off with flaming hot cheetos and you got to eat it as fast as you can. Whoever has the best time wins and gets bragging rights. I don't know, I think that sounds pretty cool. Anyway, if you don't like it, whatever. We, we about to get up out of here, y'all. Snoopy East Fall Weights, wanna tell you guys, thank you for all your love and support. <clears throat> Till next time, keep it banging, keep it crispy. I love y'all, peace.